What's up guys, it's Sydney and this is your 20 minute full body deep stretch. So grab a spot on your mat and let's get started. What's up guys, welcome to your 20 minute full body deep stretch and we're gonna slow it down today. We're gonna start from the toes and work our way up to the head, stretching out, lengthening muscles, opening up joints, and getting a little bit more range of motion and fluidity through your body. It is crucial and it is vitally important that you take time and you take a day in the week to not work out intensely, but just to recover, okay? Your bodies and your muscles need that, okay? So we're gonna get started with just a foot arch stretch. Okay, we're starting from the toes, like I said. All right, so let's take your left foot and I want you to come up onto your toes, pushing your ankle forward and away from your other leg. Okay, two, one, let's push and relax. Okay, and you can push forward. Think about your heel shooting out and away, really pressing down into those toes. And if you need to bend your knee, you can do that as well. Okay, we'll spend about 30 seconds on this side. Good. And give me one more big stretch, 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 stretch. And let's switch it over to the other foot. Arch. And again, you can bend your knee. You can shove this opposite hip away so you can kind of trust your toes. Good job. There you go. Keep the ball of your foot nice and flat. And good. I want you to take that opposite foot and kick it back behind you. Okay, we're gonna flatten the heel and then pull it up into an arch stretch. Okay, so flatten and stretch. Spend a second with your heel on the ground, push it towards the floor, and then bend it, really getting into that arch. A lot of times if we have foot arch cramps, it can be a tightness in the back of our leg and the calves. So let's work on lengthening that calf a little bit here. Push it down. down. Good job, and give me one more. Good, and let's switch sides, okay? So, front leg supports you, back leg is gonna go heel down, foot arch. Heel down, feel that stretch in the calf as you press your heel to the floor, and then arch it up off the ground. Good job. Really dig that heel into the floor. Feel that stretch. I can feel it up close to my knee, the back of my knee. Good job. And give me two more. Heel down, arch it up. One more, heel down, and bring your feet just about hip width apart. I want you to slowly glide your hands down your legs, placing your hands on the floor, and then walk out to a pike position. Okay, so about three feet between your hands and your toes. Now I want you to individually pedal heels to the floor. Okay, so the same thing we were just doing, only we're doing both legs alternating here. Heel down, feel the stretch in the calf as it's down. Foot up as the other one drops, and you're feeling the arch here, stretching. Great job. Now let's go ahead and drop both heels on the ground, press into the floor, shoot your hips back towards your heels. Feel that stretch all the way up the back of your leg. And hold right here, just breathing. Good, now come up onto both toes, stretch those arches. Great job.
and drop back down to your heels and I want you to walk your hands back in towards your toes and we're gonna stay right here. Okay, moving from the calves up towards the hamstrings now. Okay, so I actually want you to take your head, look a little bit in front of your toes. Okay, so you get that nice hip push back. And you don't have to have your hands on the ground, you can have them here at your legs. But I want you looking just a little bit diagonally forward so that you're forcing your hips backwards, really getting deep into those hamstrings. And relax, relax your head, relax your neck, you and bend your knees for a second if you need to. Good, all right, lift the hips back up, straighten those legs, look forward, shoot your hips back. Great job, just keep breathing in and out. Job. Now I want you to take your right foot, place it just about a foot in front of your left foot, okay? And let's bend the left leg, keeping the right leg straight. Okay, so a little isolation here for the hamstring. Back leg is bent, front leg is nice and straight, your back is also nice and straight. And you can have your hands here on the floor, you can have them on your hips. Let's step up and switch. Back leg is back and it's bending. Front leg is straight. Good job. And you want to try and relax your quad here as well. You should be able to shake your quad. If your quad is flexing, it's just going to make everything tense and our whole goal today is to relax you. Okay, so relax the quad, push the hips backwards. Hands can be on the ground supporting you. Or on your legs, on your hips. There we go. Now let's step back up together. I'm gonna to rotate to the side here and we're gonna lengthen the feet apart. Okay, so feet are about three feet apart. Hands are still in the middle and I want you to make a nice flat tabletop with your back. Okay, so if you can go on your hands on the floor, let's do that. If not, hands are right on your quads. Flatten your back out for me, and I want you to push your hips back as far as you can. And I want you to keep both legs straight and just swivel your hips side to side. This won't be a huge range of motion movement. Okay, but just want both legs straight, tiny swivel from side to side. This just kind of works into the adductors as well as the hamstrings and glutes a little bit. Good. Pushing back and back. Now walk your hands over towards the left side, placing them in front of your left foot. And let's go ahead and bend down into that left knee, keeping your right leg nice and straight. Okay, now we're gonna stretch this right leg adductor, your inner thigh here. So your hands can be outside, they can be inside your leg. You should feel the stretch right here. Another way to do this, if your ankle is uncomfortable, you can also just drop to your knee and sit back here this way. Okay, so either way, nice long straight leg here. Your hip is shooting back. Good. Now let's make our way over to the other side. Same exact thing. Okay, so left leg is out straight. Getting that inner thigh. Everyone gets super tight here with leg workouts, with glute workouts. Okay, so you can either be here on your toe or back down onto your knee. Great job, continue to breathe.
push yourself back up into the middle. One more time, we're gonna roll up nice and slow and we're gonna get the quads before we hop down onto the floor, okay? So, grab onto one ankle, you're gonna pull that heel to your glute. Okay, if you have something you can hold on to, a wall, you can do that as well. If you need to, you can grab onto just your shin bone, whatever's comfortable for you, whatever gets your heel closest to your glutes. All right, let's go ahead and switch it over. Good, pull that heel up to your butt and then try to force your hips forward as well so you can get a little bit more pull. There you go, great job. I have my arm out to the side for balance. If you need to grab onto a wall or something, that's okay. All right, amazing job. Come on down to the floor. Let's drop onto your hands and knees. Starting to feel a little bit more loose. Good, all right. Let's go into a runner's lunge. So give me your left foot right up top here. And I want you to drop that back leg down straight as you twist over and grab that front knee, pulling it into your chest. Okay, so there's a nice rotation here, which makes it a little bit deeper of a drop for your hip flexor on the other side. Okay, and if you can, you can also opt to drop down to your elbow, same thing. Turning that chest towards your knee, really dropping that hip flexor down. Great job. All right, come back into the middle. And let's go ahead and switch it over to the other leg. Okay, so front leg is at a 90 degree angle, okay? So make sure you're not here with weight up on your toe, okay? Make sure your foot is out far enough so that you can plant it and your knee doesn't shoot over your toe. Okay, so 90 degree angle here. Turn to the side if you can. Drop to your elbow and turn. And let's really drop this hip flexor down towards the floor. Breathe nice and deep. I know the hips can get tight. Good job, guys. Continue to breathe for about 10 more seconds. Good, place your hands back onto the floor. Let's shoot both knees back again. Take them nice and wide, and I want you to sit back and forth from side to side, shoving your hips out and out. Okay, now really take your time here. And if you feel like it, you can arch your back up and over as you sit your hips back, and that'll get a little bit deeper. Just arching away from where your hip is going. So if I'm shooting to my left, I'm reaching up and over to the right. All right, let's shoot that right hip back. Walk your hands up and over to the left. And one more time, hips over to the left, reaching to the right. Good, back into your tabletop position. Give me your right foot, okay? And I want you to shoot it perpendicular to your spine. So I want you to first make sure that it is straight across your mat, even if you're not laying down on it yet. Okay, get it straight across your mat and then slide that back foot away. Okay, and the goal here is to keep your leg at this 90 degree angle and place your chest right over top of that shin. 
Again, if you can't get this low, stay right up top here. I want you thinking about forcing the opposite hip down towards the mat. So you're not opening up here, but you're forcing it down here. Great job. Force those hips towards the floor. I know it's easier, it's a little more comfortable to let them roll open. Keep them both, both facing down. And breathe. Great job. Anyone else really need this stretch today? I definitely did too, guys. Super important that we take this time at least once a week and just stretch, just move our bodies. Okay, come on up and I'm gonna have you roll back onto your glutes and let's just switch legs this way. Okay, so opposite foot, starting out across your body, straight in front of you. Okay, and then we're gonna take that back leg back, rotate the hips towards the floor. Get comfortable here first. Okay, once you feel the start to loosen up, you can rock on down a little closer. Chest to shin, or wherever you can get is fine, as long as you feel this stretch right here in the glute and the psoas in the front. Okay, really good for your glute, lower back, psoas, this entire hip girdle right in here. Great job, force that hip towards the floor. Your back hip has to be facing the floor as well. So you can get an equal stretch here. Great job, keep breathing, keep pushing. Get a little bit uncomfortable here and go a little bit lower. And just breathe through that discomfort, it's gonna help you. One more big deep breath. Exhale. Good, slowly come back up. I want you to bring yourself up to a seated position. Both feet together in the middle of your body. Okay, pulling them in nice and close. Take that left arm up in the air. And I want you to reach over top. Okay, so keep your chest open. Reaching for that opposite wall, straight to the right of you. Now I want you to take your hand and reach diagonal forward. Okay, so a little bit deeper into your low back. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So right hand up top, reach up and then over. Reaching for that left side wall, straight to your left. Keep the chest open for a second here. Good, and then go ahead and drop your chest a little facing the floor, reach diagonal forward. Deep into that low back. Keep both of your hips and your butt bones on the ground. Reaching diagonal, kind of straight out from your shin here. Good, come back up top. And I want you to place left arm on the floor. Pull your head over to the right. Okay, so your hand over here is nice and flat on the ground. And then pull your head away. You should feel a really good release here in your traps. Keep that hand in contact with the floor.
and release. Bring your head back to the middle. Place the other hand flat on the floor and pull your head away from it. Just gentle pressure. Breathe, relax, close your eyes. And release. Amazing job, guys. You are complete. You have completed your 20 minute full body deep stretch. I hope you're feeling amazing. I know I really needed this stretch this week, so I have to think if you're doing the workouts with me that you needed it as well. So if you wanna go back through and loosen up again, feel more than welcome to do this workout again. Definitely share this workout with your friends and with your family, especially the ones that you know are just starting up with a fitness regimen who are just looking into how to get into it, okay? Once you start to feel your body move and start to feel better, one, you're either sore and you need this workout, or you just kind of need to feel your body loosen up and get it moving through its range, ranges of motion. So I urge you to share this workout with your friends or family members who you know are tight, are starting up a fitness journey, or who are just looking for ways to start, okay? Loosening up the back of the body, that posterior chain, as well as the hip flexors, the psoas, in the neck, a lot of the most common areas for tension for people in the way that we sit and the way that we live. So make sure to share this with as many people as possible to help as many people as possible. Okay, that's my only wish, is just to make people feel better in their own bodies, make you feel like royalty in the skin that you are in, okay? So if you are feeling good right now, make sure you let me know in the comments below that you finished this, that you're feeling so much better, and don't forget to like this video, of course, subscribe to the channel, and then last thing, make sure you turn on your bell notifications so I can alert you with the workout that I'm posting tomorrow. It's gonna be a really good one. I know you guys are gonna love it, and I can't wait to hear from you in the comments below. Make sure you check out the Sydney Squad and the 30 Day Transformation, which is currently 20% off, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.